28 Singapore Cat Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. Singapore cats are the smallest breed of domestic cat, with females typically weighing between 4 and 6 pounds and males between 6 and 8 pounds. Well, that's about the size of a loaf of bread. Number 2. Make no mistake, the Singapore's small size does not make them any less playful or mischievous. People often call these tiny terrors pocket rockets because they have a lot of energy despite their size. Number 3. Did you know that Singapore's also boast the largest ears in proportion to their body size of any cat breed? Well, these oversized ears are not purely for aesthetics either. They act as powerful sound amplifiers, allowing Singapore's to hear the tiniest rustles, chirps, and even squeaks from long distances. Number 4. The name Singapore is a beautiful homage to the breed's supposed country of origin. It comes from the Malay word Singapore, which translates to Lion City, a fitting title for these spirited little felines. Number 5. Singapore cats are recognized by major cat registries in one color, sepia goody. They have a unique coat with a tick tabby pattern, where individual hairs alternate between dark and light colors. The underside of the cat, including the chest, muzzle, and chin, takes on the lighter color, giving them a distinct and captivating look. Number 6. Singapore's are known for their stunning almond-shaped eyes, which typically range in color from vibrant green to rich hazel. These eyes often have a darker rim, like a natural eyeliner, further emphasizing their expressive gaze. Number 7. The origin of the Singapore cat is shrouded in both mystery and controversy. According to the official story, American breeders Tommy and Hal Meadow found three cats in Singapore in the 1970s and brought them to the U.S. to create the breed. However, later evidence revealed a different aspect to the story. Number 8. The Meadows initially claimed that they bred Burmese and Abyssinian mixed cats in the United States. Some of these cats were sent to Singapore where they became part of the local street cat population. Eventually, they were rediscovered in Singapore, imported back to the US, and established as the foundation for the official Singapore breed. Number 9. The Cat Fanciers Association investigated the claims made by the Meadows after a request from a Singapore breed club. During the inquiry, Hal Meadow stated to the investigation board that the three cats in question were descendants of four local cats he had sent back to the U.S. in 1971. This contradicted Meadows' previous assertion about the origin of the Foundation cats. Number 10. The resemblance of some Burmese Avicinian crosses to the Singapore, coupled with the Singapore's smaller-than-average litter size of 2 to 3 kittens, which is unusual for natural breeds that typically have 4 to 6 kittens, raised further doubts about the accuracy of the Meadows story. Number 11. The Singapore's murky origins are further complicated by recent genetic studies. In 2007, a study on cat DNA showed that Singapore cats and Burmese cats have very few genetic differences. This suggests that Singapore's may not have naturally developed as a distinct breed but could instead have been a result of crossbreeding between Burmese and Abyssinian cats. Number 12. During a cat finding trip to Singapore in 1987, American breeder Jerry Mays uncovered a surprising revelation. He stumbled across some importation papers which revealed that the Foundation Singapore cats, initially thought to be native to Singapore, were in fact brought to the country from the United States in 1974 by the Meadows. Number 13. Lucy Ko, a friend of Jerry Mays, tried to correct the history of the Singapore presented by the Meadows, but it did not gain attention until 1990, when the Singapore Tourism Board planned to use the cats as a national mascot. Reporter Sandra Davey revealed this discrepancy in the Straits Times, solidifying the public exposure of the issue. Number 14. The Singapore Tourist and Promotion Board officially chose the Singapore cat nicknamed Casinta as their official mascot, despite all the debate about the cat's origin. This decision was made after the Cat Fanciers Association's investigation and reflects the Singapore Tourist and Promotion Board's confidence in the Singapore's appeal and its appropriateness as a symbol of Singapore's lively identity. Number 15. The name Kusinta comes from combining two Malay words, Kusing, which means cat, and Senta, which means love. This name was chosen as the winning entry in a naming competition for the mascot. Interestingly, in Malay, Kusinta also means the one I love. Number 16. In 2003, 15 bronze sculptures of Singapore cats have been installed along the Singapore River. However, only three sculptures still remain. They depict a mother cat with two kittens near Kavanagh Bridge. This decrease in the number of sculptures is likely because some were vandalized and maintenance became challenging. Number 17. During Singapore's 39th National Day in 2004, four charming Singapore cats also took the spotlight at a temporary zoo exhibit, showcasing their beauty and symbolizing Singapore's identity. The event brought together cat lovers and zoo visitors in shared admiration for these tiny feline ambassadors. 
Number 18. The International Cat Association acknowledged the Singapore for championship status in 1979, recognizing their unique qualities. This opened doors for Singaporeans to compete on equal footing with other established breeds, showcasing their unique beauty and temperament to a wider audience. Number 19. Before gaining official recognition, Singaporeans were considered a rare and exotic breed, primarily found in Southeast Asia. Only a small number of breeders existed, and the breed faced challenges in establishing a consistent standard. Number 20. While the International Cat Association paved the way in 1979, the CFA, the Cat Fanciers Association, took a slower approach, first registering the Singapore in 1982, but waiting another six years for full championship status. This demonstrates their commitment to ensuring the breed met their specific standards for judging and competition. Number 21. Singaporeans generally enjoy a lifespan of 9 to 15 years and are known for their good health. However, they suffer from a genetic predisposition to pyruvate kinase deficiency, a blood disorder causing anemia and other complications. Number 22. The predisposition to pyruvate kinase deficiency can be attributed to the Singapore's limited gene pool, which originated from a small founding population of street cats in Singapore. This lack of genetic diversity increases the chances of inheriting recessive genes like the one responsible for pyruvate kinase deficiency. Number 23. The Singapore's captivating eyes are not just beautiful, they're also proportionally large compared to their head size. These large eyes are believed to be an adaptation from their Southeast Asian ancestry. In their natural urban environment, good vision and the ability to detect movement in low light would have been essential for hunting and staying safe. 24. Singapore cats have a slender tail that's a bit shorter than their body, giving them balance and elegance. The tail has a blunt tip, which sets them apart from other breeds with longer or pointed tails. Number 25. Singapore cats are affectionate and they love companionship. They also flourish in homes where they have someone to spend their time with. While they can handle being alone for a bit, long periods of solitude can make them feel lonely and stressed. If you have a busy schedule, think about getting another pet for them to keep company. Number 26. One of the many joys of sharing your life with a Singapore is their low-maintenance elegance. Their short, sleek coat requires minimal fuss to stay healthy and gleaming. A gentle brush once every few weeks is all it takes to remove shed fur and keep their natural oils distributed, leaving them with a healthy, lustrous shine. Number 27. To keep your Singapore cat energetic and healthy, it's important to give them a diet that suits their age and is nutritious. This ensures they have the energy for their playful activities and affectionate moments. But be careful with portion sizes, as even a little extra food can lead to weight gain. Number 28. Singapore cats enjoy exploring and staying active, so it's always a good idea to keep them entertained. Provide interactive toys like feathery wands and puzzle feeders to make your home a playful environment. These toys engage their curiosity and encourage them to move around, making for a happy and healthy cat. Alright guys, now which of these Singapore cat facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.